Hello, Stephen here from the School Observatory in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. In this video, I'm going to quickly go over about running a laptop in the field for doing astrophotography. First off, you don't necessarily have to have a laptop for doing astrophotography. If you're just doing your basic DSLR astrophotography unguided, then all you need is your camera and maybe a remote shutter. If you want to automate your session so you don't have to sit there and hit your button and hold it, count for five minutes or however long you want your exposures and do the next one, go on eBay, look up DSLR intervalometer and you can get one of these. These you just pretty much program it to say, all right, I want, give me a 10 second delay and I want my exposures to be 30 seconds long and I want them to be shot every 60 seconds to give the camera time to load each exposure and I want 20 of them so you program all that into this little thing and you pretty much hit start walk away and it automates it all for you so all that's done without a laptop but if you were doing planetary work if you're using a dedicated CCD if you're doing any guiding then absolutely you're going to need a laptop to be able to run this stuff obviously right so this is what I have out in the field with me for power this is basically your booster box for a car this one has your 12 volt voltage which is your cigarette lighter and it's called DC voltage which stands for direct current it's the choice for using out in the field. It's very low voltage. A lot of stuff actually runs on DC voltage and we don't realize it. This comes with an inverter on it. This inverter chews through your battery, like a lot. Even if you buy one of these other types of inverters to be able to run your laptop, you are still going to chew through your battery. So you're just it's pretty straightforward. What this is doing is it's taking your whole 12 volt voltage, upgrading it to this one has an output of 115 volts AC. So it's taking 12 volts and changing it up to 115. It's chewing through a lot of power. And then you go and you plug your laptop into it here. And then what this laptop cord is actually doing is taking that 115 volts and it's grading it back down to 18.5 volts. So you can see how there's a big waste of power in the line. Laptops actually run on a DC voltage. So what you do is you go online. Oh yeah, and by the way, AC voltage stands for alternating current. And uh, it's the bad voltage. I don't like playing with it. It's the kind that electrocutes you. DC voltage, you're safe. You won't get electrocuted. Just kidding. Electrocuted. So... Anyways, go online, look up your laptop, and say, uh, type in, name your laptop, and type in DC power adapter. I got this one here from Targus, or from Best Buy. It's made by Targus, and it works on a lot of laptops. It comes with multiple tips, and uh, yeah, you can see how it runs on a lot of these. Focus, there we go. But unfortunately, it doesn't run my newer laptop, so I ended up having to order a new one. If you read on it and you read your laptop, you want to figure out the wattage that your lapper is going to need. So this one has an output of 75 watts. And, and my laptop takes 65 watts. So it has a nice output for this laptop. My new laptop, on the other hand, requires 90 watts, so this cord is no good for it. that, and uh, I don't have the adapter for the end for it anyways. So I ended up having to order a new adapter for it, and I'll show you here. All I did is did a Google search. I typed in DC adapter for HP Pavilion 17F, took the number right off my box, and uh, just Googled it. And this is the one I found here. Give it a little bit of time to load. And there we go. $40 free shipping. 
and you have an output power of 45 watts, 65 watts, and 90 watts, which is perfect for my laptop. This is actually made for my newer laptop, so $40 is a lot cheaper than spending the $100 on one of these inverters. And to top it off, you're not wasting power. So hopefully this clears things up for a lot of people and saves them some power out in the field so they can get a few more images put in. If you do have any questions, feel free to email me. All right. Thanks for watching.